Do you have any homework tonight? Yeah, but I'm gonna do it later because it'll only take a couple of minutes. Mom, do we have any art supplies? No, why? I need them to finish my homework. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Because I didn't need them earlier. Yeah, well you need them now, don't you? No, I was making the whole thing up. Oh, were you actually? No, now can you please just go and get me some art supplies? I would have if you would have told me this earlier when I asked if you had any homework. Why? What's the difference? Oh, let me see. Maybe because it's 11 o'clock at night and all the stores are closed? Here's the dumbest things bought by billionaires. Saudi Prince Amir bought a Mercedes covered in 300,000 diamonds. It took 13 experts two weeks to attach them and it cost 4.8 million dollars. Data Fugue bought a shirt made entirely out of gold. It has over 14,000 pieces of 22 karat gold weighing 7 pounds. And it cost him $250,000. Finally, Kanye West spent just under a million dollars on four gold-plated toilets for his mansion. Honey, what do you want out for supper today? Can you cook some chicken and rice? Um... It looks like we're out of rice. <sighs> what about spaghetti and hamburger? We don't have spaghetti either. We don't have much. I gotta go grocery shopping tomorrow. Ah, <sighs> what do we eat? What do we eat? What do we eat? Oh, right here it says on Tuesdays that kids eat for free at Pizza Hut. Oh, really? Let's go there. Hey, Luke! Get ready! We're going to Pizza Hut, baby! <gasps> I gotta go, guys. I'm going to Pizza Hut! Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm gonna be your waiter today. Are you guys ready to order? Yes, I'd like to get a large pineapple pizza, please. But, Mom, I don't Pineapples. I know, honey. You can get something on the kids' menu. Oh, and I forgot to mention, on Tuesdays, which is today, kids under the age of 10 eat free. Well, good thing you're 9, right, Luke? I'm not 9. I'm 12. <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy! I'm going to have to pretend in school today! That's amazing, son. I'm so proud of you. Why don't you come into the living room and tell me about it? Wow, I got 20% in science, 30% in math, and 50% in English. <laughs> Here's how fans found Marshmallow's real identity. In this picture on Instagram, you can see a red tattoo through the hole in his jeans. The DJ Chris Comstock also has a red tattoo on his leg. During this interview with Skrillex, someone named Chris phoned him and he said it was Marshmallow. And, uh, is that right now? It's Chris. Oh, Marshmallow. Finally, the DJ Feed Me posted a picture of him wearing Marshmallow's mask on his Instagram story. And if you look in the mirror, you can see Chris Comstock taking the picture with the rest of the outfit. It was later deleted, but fans noticed this and took screenshots. Mom, my friends are here to pick me up. I'll see you later. Wait, before you leave, I'd like you to do your chores first. I did them. You did the kitty litter? Yep. Well, I want you to sweep the floor too. I already did. What about the- I already did the dusting. Then can you- I did the dishes too. I don't believe you. Then go check. I think I will. <sighs> can you please be quick? My friends have already been waiting for like an hour. Hey, don't talk to me like that or else you won't be going anywhere. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> Why are the floors so wet? Wait a second. He mopped the floors too? I know. What about the kitty litter? He even put in fresh kitty litter? Oh, I know. I bet he didn't do his laundry. I want you to throw in your laundry before you go. Why? I have lots of clean clothes. Do you want to leave the house or not? Fine. <laughs> Mommy, look at this meme. A what? I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. It's always one of them got to be ugly. How do you know this guy? I don't know him. Then how did he get on your phone? It popped up when I was scrolling on the For You page on TikTok. Huh? I don't get it. <sighs> Forget it. Ouch. Do it again. <sighs> Do it again. Do it again. It's time to get out for school. Okay, I'll be out in five minutes. You better be. day my dad started ripping our carpet apart to put in some new flooring. Nothing ever goes as planned and his back and knees were starting to hurt so he was getting annoyed. But slowly with the help of me of course we got it done. I wanted to surprise my dad so I got these Gobi light strips to put on the back of our TV. There's a bunch of different scenes you could choose from and with the included camera the colors can change to whatever's showing on the TV. My dad decided to put the colors to his favorite basketball team. Yeah! <laughs> 
and as you could tell, he really likes them. Do you think you're smart? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh yeah? Spell it. S-M-A-R-T. I said spell it. Can I get you anything to drink? Um, what are my options? Yes or no? Can I go down the water slide yet? Is that a yes or a no? Okay, I'm going. Hey, don't go until I tell you to. Hi, Susan, how are you? Oh, I'm good, how are you? Come on in. <gasps> I think my mom's here. Quick, go and hide so you don't have to go home. It's really cold outside today, isn't it? Tell me about it. My hands almost fell off when I was walking to the car. Oh, hey, Neb. How's it going? Good. That's good. How did Luke treat you today? Oh, he just wouldn't stop yelling. No, I'm only joking. Oh, oh, she'll never find me in here. Well, we should probably get going because I have ham in the oven. Where is Luke, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Luke, where are you? <laughs> if you come out now, I'll buy you Pokemon cards. <gasps> Really? Nope. Five things the queen has never been able to do. The queen isn't allowed to grow long nails. She also has to keep her hair neat and if she wants to wear makeup, it must look natural. The queen isn't allowed in public without a bodyguard. Each member of the family has up to five highly trained armed officers while they're out in public. The queen can't choose who she wants to speak with at formal dinners. The rule is she must begin speaking with the person on her right then switch to the person on her left. The queen has never been allowed to sign her autograph. The whole royal family has been banned from signing autographs for fans in case their signature gets forged later on. And finally, one of the most strict rules is how she's allowed to sit. In particular, she isn't allowed to cross her legs. The queen must keep her knees together while tilting her legs to the sides. Come on. Yeah! Ow! Why does my shoulder hurt so much? Oh, I know, let me just switch it up. What does it mean when my shoulder hurts? Okay. What? No, 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 no. This can't be true. What if I search, what does it mean when you lift your arm and your shoulder hurts? No, 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 no. Please, please, please. What if I try another website? What brings you in today, young man? My shoulder really hurts when I lift up my arm. Hmm. By any chance, do you lift weights? Of course. Can't you see how swole I am? Of course I can. Well, it sounds to me like you just have a pulled muscle. Phew! Ouch! Oh, it's getting late. I should probably go home before my parents beat me up. Ah. Why don't you ask your parents if you could stay overnight? Oh yeah, that's, that's a good idea. I'll go call my mom right now. <sighs> oh. Hello? Hey, mom. Noah wants me to stay overnight. Oh, okay. That's fine with me, as long as his parents are okay with it. No, but I don't want to stay overnight. I want to come home. Oh, okay then. So can you send me a text message saying to come home or something? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Okay, thank you so much. Noah, I was just about to call my mom, but then she sent me a text saying, It's getting dark. Can you please come home now? <sighs> are you serious? Well, maybe if you tell her you're staying overnight, she'll be okay with it. I don't know, man. She sounds kind of mad. I wish I could stay, but I think I better go home. Dang it. Well... I'll see you later, I guess. Yeah, see ya. Just wait here, I have to go to the bathroom, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. <gasps> Bro, you should've seen the sick Fortnite dub I got last night, hey babe? Yeah, he clutched us so hard. Really? Yeah, bro, you down for some duos tonight? Yeah, of course, bro. I haven't had a dub in a minute. Awesome, I'll slide in the DMs later tonight. Yeah, bro, just hit me up. Now we're gonna go over some questions related to the book we just read. So the first question- So who do you like again? I have a big crush on Molly. Can anyone tell me why the teacher in the book was wearing sunglasses to school? Because she had bright students. <laughs> because she had bright students! <laughs> oh, Jesse, you're quite the kid. Bing bong! Oh, I guess that's all the time we have for today's class. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We should go out sometime. You're so funny. Here's my number. Hey, hey, Luke! Here's the only way to survive if you're buried alive. First, you need to stay calm and slow down your breathing to preserve oxygen. Then lift your shirt up and tie it in a knot to protect yourself from dirt. Now, with something hard like a belt buckle, a ring, or a rock, you need to break the coffin. Now, use your hands to push the dirt to your feet so you can sit up, then climb out. 
How was school today, Luke? It was so boring. I just hate it. Breaking news. Turn up, turn up, turn up! Okay, jeez. Tonight, we're expecting 45 to 50 centimeters of snow, so avoid traveling if you can. 50 centimeters? I hope it's a snow day tomorrow. Dad, what are the chances that it'll be a snow day tomorrow? I don't know. You've asked me a hundred times today and it's getting really annoying, so just go to bed. Okay, jeez. I swear, if it's not a snow day tomorrow, I don't even know what will happen. Uh-oh. It's the moment of truth. Come on, my heart's beating so fast. Please, please. Yes! <laughs> are you guys ready to play Fortnite all day? How is everyone today? Good. Why can't I go to my friend's house? Because I said so. But all my friends are gonna be there. If they jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? Of course not. That's completely different. This isn't fair. Wait until you get into the real world. Oh, shut up. Did you just say what I thought you said? If you heard me say it, then why are you asking? Secret messages hidden in popular logos. In the FedEx logo, there's an arrow in between the E and the X. It stands for moving forward, speed, and precision. In the Amazon logo, there's an orange arrow that goes from A to Z. And this means they have you covered for every letter in the alphabet. In the Tostitos logo, the two lowercase T's represent people holding a chip. And the I is a table holding a bowl of salsa. In the Hershey's Kisses logo, the space in between the K and the I is shaped as one of their chocolates. In the Pringles logo, the dot on the I is actually a chip. The B in this logo doesn't just represent beats, but also someone wearing a pair of headphones. Five emojis that you've been using wrong, part two. You may have seen this in comic books before where it means BAM. But when texting, it means the person you're talking to has lost their temper or is out of control. Apart from meaning BAM, the X emoji also symbolizes a kiss. This emoji is a Japanese ogre named Namahage, which drives away evil spirits. This emoji represents the mask of Tengu, which is a demon from the Japanese mythology. It's used to tell the person you're texting with that they're being arrogant. This emoji means no good. In Asian countries, it's often shortened to these two letters. There's a guy on me! Help! Help! What's with all the ruckus down here? This game is making me mad. Well, it's just a video game and it's really annoying, so quit it. Get off the ice! You're the worst player on this team! How are you even on this team? You can't even skate, what? You're not gonna pass it then! Shoot the puck! Shoot the puck! Shoot the puck! No! Why would you pass it to him? Just shoot it in the net! What the heck are you doing? Oh my gosh, I can't even watch this game anymore! You're being so annoying. Parents be like, go to your... Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. No. Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. No. Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. Then do it. Okay then. Hey, I was just joking. <laughs> but when you're running, try to hold the phone like this so no. it looks like... You're behind me and me? Like so it, you, they could see you. Okay. okay. Parents be like, go to your chores. No. <clears throat> Too fast. Parents be like, go to your chores or I'm taking your phone. Then do it. Okay then. Hey, I was just joking! Try to sound just a bit more aggressive. Okay, well, yeah, first of all, it wasn't too. Yeah. Like, hold on. Okay, then. Okay, but a bit slower. But same, do, try one more time. Same tempo, but or a bit slower. Same volume. what to do if someone's following you on the street. First, start to walk faster, then make four right turns in a row. You'll now be in the same spot you started off, and if they're still behind you, then that confirms that they're actually following you. Whatever you do, don't go home, because then they will know where you live. If someone's walking towards you, start talking to them like they're your friend. Tell them someone's following you and ask if they could walk with you to a more public street until you find another way home. Before I tell you what to do if there's no one on the street to help you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike. Just press this button on my profile to try it and comment who you get. Remove your jacket and put your hair down so it's harder for them to grab you. Then pretend you forgot something by patting your pockets and say, Oh, I forgot my wallet. After you say that, start walking faster in the opposite direction to a busy street. They won't follow you into a busy street and probably won't run after someone who doesn't have their wallet. These secret codes unlock hidden iPhone features. This number makes it so when people call you, it sends them straight to voicemail, and to turn it off, you just type it again. Typing in this makes it so when you phone people, your number won't show up. When you put this followed by somebody's number, your number won't show up only for that one call. Type this in to activate call waiting, which turns this on for when someone calls you when you're already on the phone. To deactivate it, type this. Putting in this lets you check how many missed calls you have, this lets you check the balance of your phone bill, and this tells you how many available minutes you have left. Can I have a cigarette? I thought you quit smoking. I'm in the process of quitting. Right now I'm in the middle of phase one. What's phase one? I've quit buying. <laughs>
Here's what to do if you drop your phone in the toilet. First, get your phone out as soon as possible and dry the outside with something like a towel. Then power off your phone completely so you avoid short circuiting it. Now if you have an iPhone, take out the SD card on the side, but if you have a phone that lets you remove the battery, do that to allow more airflow so we could dry better. If you can, use a vacuum to suck out the water, but if not, tilt your phone side to side to allow the water to drop out. You may be thinking, Luke, what about putting it in rice? Well, studies showed that the best and quickest way to dry your phone is to let it air dry with good air circulation. Lock it, 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 lock it. He should be sleeping. Are you making a TikTok? Please don't tell mommy. Answer my question. Are you making a TikTok? Yeah. Can I be in it? So how do you want your haircut today? Can I just get a bit off the top? Say no more. All right, take a look. <laughs> Secret messages hidden in popular logos. Hyundai. Lots of people think the logo is just the first letter of the company, but it also symbolizes a client and a representative of the company shaking hands. Adidas. The logo has three stripes that form a triangle. This symbolizes a mountain which represents the challenges all athletes have to overcome day after day. Toyota. The logo is actually a needle with a thread passing through it to represent their past, because they used to make weaving machines. However, the individual parts of the logo also spell out the company's name. Honey, can you get me an iPhone for my birthday? But what about the other one? The other one's already getting me an iPad. <gasps> when I look into your eyes, I see something beautiful. Really? What is it? My reflection. <gasps> Why aren't you picking up the phone? I always pick it up on the third ring. It makes me seem cooler. Pick it up! Fine. 911, what's your emergency? Here's the only way to survive a crocodile attack. Crocodiles have the strongest jaws on the planet and they kill around a thousand people every year. If you see a crocodile while you're in the water, you need to stay calm and slowly swim away. If it's still chasing you when you get out of the water, you need to scream and run in zigzags. This will confuse the crocodile and it will eventually leave you alone. Now before I tell you what to do if it already has you in its jaw, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. If you want to try it too, just press this button on my profile. Now if it already has you in its jaw, you need to punch the eyes. This will stun the crocodile and it'll let you go. Here's what cartoon characters would look like in real life. Daffy Duck from Looney Tunes. Daisy from Looney Tunes. Speedy Gonzales from Looney Tunes. Tiger from Winnie the Pooh. Chase from Paw Patrol. Bing Bong from Inside Out. Bruni from Frozen 2. Sandy from Spongebob. Judy Hopps from Zootopia. Flounder from The Little Mermaid. Harry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb. And the cat from Alice in Wonderland. To who do you owe your success as a millionaire? I owe everything to my girlfriend. Wow, she must be a great girl. What were you before she came into your life? A billionaire. I love you. I have a boyfriend. I love you. I just need some time alone. I love you. I have a boyfriend. Secret messages hidden in popular logos. In Baskin Robbins, the B and the R also have the number 31 to represent how many flavors they have. In the Tour de France logo, the O, U, and the R are shaped as someone riding a bike. The bottom of the Levi's logo is the same shape as the pockets on their jeans. The coat of arms of Bern, which is where Toblerone chocolate is made, has a bear on it. And so does the logo. The tire company Continental has the C and the O shaped as a tire. Now before I tell you the craziest one, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike. Just press this button on my profile if you want to try it too. The reason the Apple logo has a bite in it is so people wouldn't mistake it as a cherry. Dad, someone at school keeps calling me fat. Aw, oh, son, don't listen to them. You're bigger than that. <laughs> Bro, this class is so easy. I'm gonna do all my homework and get a good grade this year. Dude, I was thinking the exact same thing. All right, class, for homework, I want you to do pages 35 to 52 in the textbook. <laughs> Forget that. Here's why bees can only sting once. When a bee sticks a stinger into your skin, it releases venom which causes pain and can affect your immune system and skin cells. Bees won't sting unless they feel threatened, but after stinging you, they can't pull their stinger out of your skin so they have to leave it behind. The stinger contains some of the bee's digestive system, nerves, and muscles which are essential for the bee to live, so they end up not surviving. Alright, has everyone copied this down? No, not yet. Yes. Okay. Everyone get on the line! I'm gonna make teams for the next game! Go down the line so we're on the same team! Good idea! One... Two... One... Two... One... Yes! Two... One... Two... <gasps> Can we switch spots? Whatever... Two. One... Two... Two... What?! One... Alright, can I get the ones over there and the twos over here?
A few days ago, I posted this TikTok and got a lot of comments about my teeth. You need to brush your teeth. Your teeth are so yellow. You need to go to the dentist. And before I posted that TikTok, just by watching it, I knew I was going to get comments like that because I know my teeth are yellow, but I brush my teeth twice a day. I've never had any cavities. And last time I went to the dentist, I asked her about them and she said they're just naturally that color. And if I wanted, I could try Crest 3D whitening strips, which is what I'm going to do. And if those don't work, then I could go in for their special treatment. So what brings you into the doctor's office today? My back always hurts when I wake up in the morning. Then just wake up in the afternoon. <gasps> Why did you get such a low mark on your exam? Absent. You were absent the day of your exam? No, but the boy who sits next to me was. Hey, what's wrong? I'm sick of your comments about my weight. I'm leaving you. But what about our child? What child? So you're not pregnant? <laughs> oh my gosh, Rebecca, it's been such a long time. Come on in. Oh no, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just came to drop this off. Oh, please, come on in. I'll get you something to drink. Would you like coffee or tea? Well, if you insist, I'll have coffee, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> Luke, can you go get us some coffee, please? Ha ha ha! Yeah, of course! It would be my pleasure! <laughs> Time for school already! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Did you know you're the only one I've ever been with? No. Really? Yeah, all the others were 9s or 10s. I'm way better at Fortnite than you. Who? I am. Ass. Ten mind-blowing examples of the Mandela Effect. The Monopoly Man never had a monocule on his eye. The Monkey Curious George never had a tail. The end of Pikachu's tail was never black. Jiffy's peanut butter was never a thing, it's just Jif. One of C-3PO's legs is actually silver. Double Stuff Oreo cookies are spelled with one F. The word fruit in Fruit Loops was never spelled with two O's. The Flintstones is actually spelled with two T's. The Bernstein Bears is actually the Bernstein Bears. And finally, there's never been a hyphen in between the word Kit Kat. How do you know? Because my mom told me I was to be home by 4. What day is your birthday on? March 1st. Okay. So what day is your birthday? Here's 5 everyday things that you didn't know the purpose of. Number 1. The hole in pot handles. Most people use it to hang pots and pans, but it can also be used to hold spoons when you're cooking so you don't make a mess. Number 2. The groove on the bottom of mugs. The grooves are designed so when you place it upside down in the dishwasher, it allows water to flow out rather than spill all over your feet when you take it out. Number 3. The hole in pen caps. The hole is there to allow airflow so if someone swallows it, they won't choke. Number 4. Pom poms on beanies. This style was made for French sailors so they wouldn't hit their head on the ceilings of ships that were low. Number 5. The tiny buttons on jeans. These tiny buttons are called rivets and are place the spots that are most likely to fall apart. Do you know the difference between right and wrong? Yes, I do. All right, if I reached into a man's pocket and took his wallet with all his money, what would I be? You'd be his wife. <laughs> Actors that can't stand their movies. Daniel Radcliffe in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The actor grew up on movie sets because of the eight Harry Potters through 10 years, but he said he hates the sixth movie because his acting was awful. George Clooney in Batman and Robin. In 1997, Batman and Robin was so unsuccessful that no one made another Batman movie for eight years. George Clooney decided to apologize to people who watched it and also Adam West who played Batman in the 60s. Alec Guinness in Star Wars. He once called Star Wars fairy tale rubbish. He didn't consider Obi-Wan's role to be a serious work and the dialogue of the character irritated him. Do it again. What time is it? Do it again. Ouch! Do it again. Ow! So what's your name? Not guilty. You're not guilty? Thank you very much. <gasps> so why did the police arrest you? For shopping too early. How early were you shopping? Before the store opened. <gasps> Here's three survival tips that could one day save your life. Starting a fire with almost no resources. All you need is batteries and foil, like a bubblegum wrapper. Just put the foil at the end of the batteries and it will start to heat up and burn. And once you get a flame, you could use things like Doritos to have a mini fire. 
Sending an emergency signal. Now that you know how to make a fire, you need a lot of smoke. To produce that, you could use fresh pine and spruce leaves, wet leaves from any other trees, or rubber materials. Another way to send a signal is by using something reflective, like a mirror, CD, metal, and even jewelry. Emergency number. A really handy thing to know is that most cell phones will dial your local emergency number even if you have no SIM card and no service. Start writing this in your notes. Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? So what did you need help with? I'm not going to teach you this because you'll learn it next year. I'm going to skip this because you guys should remember it from last year. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's go! <gasps> did they score? No. I'm just cheering for no reason. Oh! <gasps> Is that blood? No. It's ketchup. Did you find the golf club you wanted? Yeah, and I also got some golf balls. Nice, did you get the golf balls from the same place? No, I got them from Walmart. Hey teacher, what are we doing today? We're gonna watch a movie. Really? <laughs> but make sure you take notes, because there's gonna be an assignment after. Jobs you didn't know existed. Ben Lashes is an internet famous cat manager. He manages famous cats like Grumpy Cat, Keyboard Cat, and Nyan Cat. He takes 20% of their earnings. So for an example, when Grumpy Cat made an estimated $1 million in her first year, he would have made $200,000 for just one client. Water slide testers travel from North America to places like Egypt to go to water parks and test their slides. They rate them based on the biggest splash and the adrenaline factor, then post their opinions online. Their yearly salary is $34,000. The China Giant Panda Protection and Research Center posted a job online called the Panda Nanny. You have to spend 365 days a year with a panda, but you get free meals and an SUV on top of the $32,000 salary. The only requirements are that you have to be 22 years or older and have basic knowledge of pandas. I'd like a margarita, please. Okay, I'll need to see your ID. <laughs> you think I look like a teenager? No, I thought you might qualify for our senior discount. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You can take whatever you want. I had a bad day. Okay, thanks. Wait, why are you letting me take things? So I have time to call the police. <laughs> hey taxi, how much will it cost for you to drive me to the Super 8? Just $10. And how much for my bag? Oh, you don't have to pay for the bags. Okay, take my bag and I'll meet you there. <laughs> I like your dress. Really? Yeah, and your lipstick looks amazing. Thank you. Your makeup also looks really good. Aw, thanks. But you're still ugly. <laughs> I have your son. I don't even have a son. Oh yeah? Then who just asked me for warm milk and made me cut the crust off his sandwich? Oh no! You have my husband! <laughs> Here's the only way to survive a grenade blast. The first thing you want to do is turn the other direction and get at least 15 feet away. Then lay on your stomach with the bottom of your feet pointing at the grenade. This will reduce your chances of getting hit by the fragments. But if you do get hit, it will be the bottom of your shoes instead of your skin. Now before I tell you what to do if there's a grenade in the water with you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Marilyn Monroe. If you want to find out who you look like, just press this button on my profile. Now if there's a grenade in the water with you, don't swim deeper, get out. Swimming deeper will cause the blast of the grenade to compress your lungs and cause serious damage. Here's five dollars, go in and get a loaf of bread. Fine. Can I get this loaf of bread please? The total will be 515. D d did you say 515? Yep, that's correct. <laughs> Mommy! Do you understand what you're supposed to be doing? Yep. Oh, good. Psst. What? What are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. Everyday habits that are bad for you. Using your phone before going to bed. Artificial light at night reduces the production of melatonin, which is what helps you fall asleep. Stopping yourself from sneezing. When you try to prevent yourself from sneezing, pressure in your brain increases significantly. The blood flow in your brain is disrupted and your blood vessels and nervous tissues are compressed, which can lead to headaches, damaged vessels, and hearing problems. Leaving food in plastic containers. Lots of plastic containers have artificial chemicals which help them maintain their flexibility. If kept in there for a long time, those substances can get into your food and affect your organs. Did you know Microsoft just bought Skype for over $10 million? Really? They're idiots! Why do you say that? Because they could have downloaded it for free. 